All right, let's talk about this fight. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder went down last night, and Tyson Fury stopped Deontay Wilder in the 11th round by knockout. Uh, what I didn't like was at the when the fight was all up, was over with, Deontay Wilder leaves the ring. He doesn't congratulate Tyson Fury. He doesn't apologize to Tyson Fury for accusing him of cheating. I got to start off with this. I hate to do that because I did like the fight. I didn't like what Deontay did. And it really, it really bothered me. Because typically fighters, after they fight, they congratulate each other. You know? But you accuse this man of cheating. And you lost. And you didn't commend that man on anything. Poor sportsman like conduct if you be somebody and you know you didn't cheat and they say you cheated are you going to want to fight them again since you bound by contract to fight somebody again and you beat them again instead of them giving you your props they walk out the room upset on something you didn't do. Wow. I do believe, and this is just me, I don't care what Deontay Wilder says, I don't believe it. I believe that in that last fight, he knows the, he even said it, he knows that costume took a lot out of him. That's why he was tired. Clearly, he was tired early on in the fight. And then the referee, I mean, then his trainer ended up stopping the fight. So he got rid of his trainer. He know he really lost to Tyson Fury. Honestly, I think he really believes that. He, that I, 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 not believe it. I really think he knows that. So he started telling him stuff. He started coming up with these reasons and why. He didn't lose on the clear playing field. Then it got to the point where he believed it. Tell yourself a lie so much you start believing in that lie. And I think that's what happened. That's why you seen the agitated Tyson Fury at the press conference when he was standing up calling him a dosser. Because this man is clearly angry and agitated because of all the cheating accusations that he's been accused of. Tyson Fury fought him the same way he fought him in the second round. Same way. His energy was through the roof. Yeah, the first round or so, uh, Deontay was going to the body, so he had to make an adjustment, and he was starting to try to time him on that. It was a good fight on both parties. I think where Deontay... Messed up is after he dropped Tyson Fury, he reverted back to the old Deontay, the one two one two. Mike check one two one two. He was looking for the one punch head shot because he he knew Tyson Fury was clearly hurt. Oh, he had him. Hurt. Oh, he had him hurt. He was hurt. He I think he was hurt more so on the knockdowns of this fight than he was on the first fight. That second knockdown, I think the referee, it was a, that was a long count. That was a long count. I got to go back and watch this again on a replay, see how long he actually was on the canvas. It was a good, that's what I'm saying. It was a good fight. So it got real. So why not congratulate? Why you do that? You congratulate that man, he beat you. Man beat you. His emotions. That's what I'm talking about. He's so emotional. I mean, it's crazy. So he wants to go out on his shield. But after the ninth round, the referee should start the fight. From ninth round on, you was in survival mode. That wasn't going out on your shield. You were just trying to survive. You was exhausted. 
Yeah, you were still throwing punches, but you wasn't going to win that fight at that point. You didn't have enough in the tank to even to, to, to stop Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury's energy, he was he was coming forward. He was ta being tactical. He wasn't tired. He, he was trying to get you out of there, which eventually he did. He fought good. Deontay fought good all the way up. It was the sixth or seventh round. It might have been the sixth round. After that, he had spurts where he had a burst of energy and he was throwing – you know, trying to trying to uh, knock Tyson Fury out, which that's the typical Deontay Wilder fashion. That's how he's always fought. But after the night round, it, dude is just so tired. Anytime you throw a punch and you almost fall down, it, that, it, that, that's and your opponent is not. Now, if they both doing that, I understand. You can keep letting it go on. If Tyson Fury is throwing his punch and him, he missed and he's about to fall down because he's exhausted. But Tyson Fury was not exhausted at all. That man could have really did some, and I hope he didn't do a lot of damage to to, De to Deontay Wilder. Took a lot out of him on this fight because you want to go out on your shield, which I disagree. You went out on your shield. You just was in survival mode at that point. Um, I wish Deontay would have maintained his game plan. Wish he would have mixed it up. Because those are him reverting back to the old De Deontay are bad habits. That's why it takes a couple of fights to kind of get into uh, going somewhere else, get into a new uh, a fight, a new a new reinventing yourself, if you will, like he says, reintroducing yourself. It takes more than one fight. I heard people talk about De Deontay's getting old, whatever. He's fighting Tyson Fury. Deontay looked good for what Deontay normally does. That he looked like a good Deontay Wilder. He looked strong. He looked in shape. He was putting punches together. But I think he knew once he once uh once Tyson Fury got up from those knockdowns after he hit him with them clean crisp shots, I think it was a mind game after that. I think he knew he was like, dang, I can't even I can't I can't stop this dude. I can't knock him out. I know and, and you ain't beating him boxing. It was close. For a little bit, the knockdowns made it very interesting. But congratulate this man. So where what's going to happen now? Where does Deontay go? Deontay has no belts. Uh... So now Anthony Joshua's going to rematch. I don't know when they're going to do the rematch fight to get his belt back. Belt's back. And then, you know, I think Tyson Fury's going to wait for that fight if it's not too long where he got to defend his title. And he's going to get those straps, unify the division, retire. He's going to do that. He gonna The reason why I say he's going to do that because he wants to retire undefeated. Lineal champion, go down in history. What not, so on and so forth. Um, I hate that Deontay didn't, you know, show poor sportsmanlike conduct. Uh, I don't care what, you know, they say what he did. I'm talking about he fought you, he fought you this fight. The out, you touched it. How many times you touched the canvas in the, in the second fight? How many times you touched the canvas in this fight? I mean, Tyson Fury fought the same. He did, he, 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 he I mean, it's pretty much the same fight. So, end of the fight, man. Congratulate this guy. You know, both of you guys are warriors. And it looked, Tyson, I know he feels good because he stopped you. Trainer didn't stop you. You called him a cheater. So now he can say, I knocked out Deontay Wilder. And, you know, he gave you your props. He said, you're the second best heavyweight. I think he is too. I think he's the second best heavyweight. I don't think nobody else can beat Deontay Wilder, but Tyson Fury, and that says a lot. So I, I don't know where Deontay's gonna go from here. I mean, I really don't. Until uh, I don't know. Maybe Tyson Fury can retire and he can get the belts. I don't know, but you fought you you fought, he, he fought a good fight. He had a good game plan. I wish he would have stuck to stuck to it. I feel sorry for him. When he hit that canvas that third time, man, I really felt sorry for him. I don't understand this. 
you know, you got to kill me mentality and all this other stuff. Man, you in a, you do this for a living, dude. You don't want to fight stupid. I was like, dang. I was rooting for him too. I wanted, I wanted Deontay Wilder to win. I did, I did want him to win. You know, but it is what it is. What do you guys think? You think, do you guys think that Deontay Wilder should apologize to uh, Tyson Fury and be a good sport and congratulate him on the, on his victory? Or do you think he did the right thing by leaving the ring and saying pretty much, F you, I ain't got nothing to say to you? It looks bad. Like, uh, go ahead and like, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever. Uh, until next time.